Hey guys, talking about slings today by popular demand. Y'all keep messaging me and blowing me up with all the videos I need to make. So here's your sling video. Uh, there's three point slings, two point slings, and one point slings. I like the two point uh, as this is. The three point would attach here, here, and then another piece up here. A single point would just have one loop and it usually attached somewhere back here. Uh, I hate the three point because it's just too much of a tangled mess. A bunch of unnecessary webbing hanging all over the place, getting bind, uh, bound up in. It's just extra. I hate it. And also I hate a single point sling. Uh, I, I used to really like the single point slings uh, because of how it, uh, just what it allowed me to do with weapon manipulation and whatnot. But when you notice a two point sling, when I drop a two pointer, it pulls it to the side. When I drop a single point right here, then it's going to drift straight in and I got hit in the junk so many times with a single point. You always have to have an arm pulling to make sure that it's not hitting your boys. Uh, so, it, it, you know, a single point sling, it may have been developed as a practical joke. I don't know this, I need a fact check. But it may have been developed as a practical joke. It's like, hey, how can I, how can I develop a sling that no matter what you do, it's going to always be racking the testicles. And so they came up with a single point sling. It was, uh, it was uh, made by an angry feminist who hated men. Uh, so that was the single point sling uh, inception. Uh, but seriously, two point sling. I like it slimline out of the way. I don't like anything extra hanging off of it. Uh, none of these ends. So you see how I mounted this. Of This uh, links through one of these push buttons right here and interfaces straight in. I don't want anything over the butt stock that could keep me from getting a good shoulder weld. Uh, and I don't want anything on the top, if I can help it, that would interfere with my cheek weld. So uh, being able to attach right here is really good. This is a Blue Force Gear sling. It's by uh, Larry Vickers, Vickers Sling by Blue Force Gear. It's on a Telorix website. There's a bunch of other good slings. You don't have to have this. Uh, Kyle Lamb makes a good one by Viking Tactics. Uh, Travis Haley makes a good one. Uh, Magpul uh, has got one uh, and all of them have this kind of idea to them uh, simple attachment points it's a two point and then this is the beauty of it right here so that I have a customizable sling that I can get looser when I need to or I can tighten down with just one pull so you see this big pull right here in just a moment swing out uh, and that's good the whole purpose of a sling is to be able to carry your gun so that you don't have to. You can go hands-on uh, with someone or something. You can work medical, go up a ladder, move a big box, go martial arts on somebody if you have to, or you're just walking around and doing stuff. You don't want to have to hold your gun the whole time. Now, if the sling is not mounting the gun tight enough to your body, then it's hanging down and hitting you in the knees and legs when you walk, and that's a no-go as well. Uh, defeating the whole point of having a sling and that's to keep it up and tight to you when I'm wearing body armor it sticks out and hangs up a little bit farther up so I'm able to walk move and run a little easier even if I don't have any hand on the gun and that's a good thing uh, if I want it even tighter what I can do is I can flip it over like this and now I, I can go uh, now my legs are even uh, less impeded as well and I can go more hands-on as well uh, so that's a good thing. Uh, so I, the idea is I want the sling as tight to my body as I can uh, get it while I can still present the gun. You see, as I pushed up, I almost had to force it out a little bit, like any tighter and I wouldn't even be able to shoulder the rifle. That allows me that even when it's in the tightest position, I can still shoulder it. And you may have to adjust a little bit if you're wearing armor or something regularly. Uh, but that allows it to get as close to my body as I can get it. Uh, so uh, so that for carrying, here I am and I can still shoulder the rifle and uh, go to work. Uh, then there's also a lot, of op a lot of times where I'm wanting to get out of my sling. If I'm clearing rooms and I feel like I'm going to have to cut a hard right angle, this sling I'm pulling against, a lot of times I'll just swim out of like this so it's just looped around my head. And a lot of times this is more when I'm married to my gun and I feel like I may be doing some weapon manipulation or something that I have to, like you can't do a, you can't do a shoulder transition from this side. You'll choke yourself out. So knowing that you, you can swim uh, from uh, the other side and do whatever you need to do for shoulder uh, transition, but you can't do it with your other arm in there. Um, being able to loosen up is a good thing. A lot of times when I'm running and gunning, I'm a little bit looser so that I can swim in and out of my sling uh, like so, and I'll just kind of, na as natural as breathing, 
uh, be uh, moving in and out of my sling so that I'm able to do something. What I just did right there where I went, uh, you know, port or uh, going into retention, high ready, whatever you call this, or snagged in here, I have a lot more weapon manipulations I can do like this. So especially when I'm moving in a team environment or I'm doing CQB stuff, it's just laced around my head oftentimes. And that's a good win for me. I like that. Uh, now, uh, there's different schools of thought with slings. A lot of people like never put your gun down ever. Uh, and I ran into a lot of difficulties when I'm working medical on somebody or I have to do some individual skill that I definitely am not using my gun at that time. A lot of times what I ended up doing because when you sling it around your back or do something goofy or, or you're working on your knees with your rifle here, your muzzle is digging into the ground over and over and over, just filling up with muck if you don't have a barrel cap. Uh, I need to bring those back. Uh, so uh, anyway, that's just a big mess and it ends up being in your way uh, and slowing you down. So a lot of times I just swim completely out of my sling, put it down beside me while I work and then pick it up and be good to go. I'm not married to my sling as much. It works for me, not the other way around. Uh, so uh, that was a little bit of a rabbit trail, but that's how I roll. <laughs> so um, uh, I'm going to show you some different mounting options and, and let you get a closer look at the uh, Blue Force gear sling. Again, I mentioned the other uh, folks that make it, uh, and uh, those slings are good too. Uh, back in my day when we didn't have these nice, cool products, I ended up going to a, a double point sling, and it was just a piece of nylon tubing I had, and I'd attach it at two points, and then I sewed some bungee cord into it, so it had a little bit of a flex, so it held it closer to my body, but when I needed to press out, I pushed against that bungee cord, and so I could have it a little bit closer. Uh, I remember one time I made way too much bungee cord when I was like a young spec four, uh, and uh, I remember <laughs> Uh, running and the rifle would be doing this with a sling and I'm like oh, I hate my sling and I had to redo that one needless to say they've come a real long way I really love this sling it's uh, what we run at Talort group and uh, I'll show you some of the hardware that you can mount with this all right hey guys let's quickly talk accessories this is my rig once again I've just uh, this is on a Picatinny I'll show you key mod Nimlock in a moment but I like the uh, sling farther down so it doesn't lay over the top of my magwell and impede my ability to do a reload so it's pulled back farther uh, i like a little bit of a tail about two finger widths behind the uh, buckle here and this choked all the way down to give me maximum real estate to be able to pull this guy uh, all the way forward and pull the rifle closer to me so that's that's what i want to see if you're shooting an ak or something like that these guys can work pretty well. This is this is all mostly Blue Force gear parts. So there's this, and you can girth hitch it around the front or rear as you want. So uh, pretty cool option there. Uh, there's the little rail-mounted fixed loop that I've got on my Picatinny. And for uh, my key mod or M-Lock stuff, uh, this is what works. Oh, I'm throwing stuff all over the place. It's a Daniel Defense. I like Daniel Defense because it's lighter and stronger. Uh, but uh, you can get cheaper options if you're trying to be cost effective. And those will work pretty well too. Here's, uh, here's the device right here. And you can push it in right there. So that's the whole rig. And it's going to do just fine. So uh, slings come in black and green and gray and tan. Whatever you want. So... If you like it, there you go. I uh, get lots of requests on gear and whatnot. I don't really love doing gear videos, but I'm trying to help out and uh, uh, help uh, do what you guys are uh, needing and wanting to help on. So train hard, train smart, and buy, uh, buy the good stuff because it's going to make your life a lot easier. Hope it was helpful. See you guys.